Hello everyone. This video is a demonstration of class 1 composite restoration. I'm using wall dent composite kit that I bought from Dental Guard. I have already prepared the tooth. After trimming the tooth, you start the bonding process by taking out the acid tooth conditioner from the kit. So tooth conditioners contain 30 to 40% phosphoric acid and the conditioner needs to sit on the target area for at least 15 seconds. After that, you rinse it off and this will make the tooth look like the etched glass. With the applicator, dab a small amount of bonding agent on the etched surface and then blow some air over the bonding agent to ensure that the layer is thin and even. So once the bonding agent is even on the dental surface, then you can expose it to the curing light for about 15 to 20 seconds. This light triggers the catalyst in the bonding agent and it causes the agent to harden and it establishes a micro-mechanical bond with the etched surface. Next step is to apply the composite filling but before that you use a shade guide to select the shade of the composite filling that matches to the patient's tooth. Work on the composite filling that is closest to the color of the patient's natural teeth. If necessary, select a different shade of the composite for the outer surface and the inner surface. And this will make the restoration look like more natural. Apply composite in layers. So each layer attaches to the bonding agent and the composite filling looks like and feels like a putty. So apply pat layer into the place and after this expose to the curing light for about 10 to 40 seconds. One reason why we tend to place composite as multiple thin layer instead of using just a single lump is that the light emitting from a curing light can only penetrate through so much thickness and this thickness is around 2 millimeters at a time. So if a layer is too thick, it won't get fully cured. Another reason has to do with the fact that the composite sets on a microscopic level, it shrinks and this shrinkage is known as polymerization shrinkage. Keeping each layer thin helps us to keep the cumulative effect of this distortion to a minimum level. So instead of using a single lump, place and cure in addition of layers. Restore the tooth by bonding the composite filling on the enamel and reshape the tooth as it was earlier. So depending on the size of restoration being constructed and due to the requirement of placing composite in layers, Building up your restoration to its needed shape may take a fair amount of time. Since the moisture control is so important during this step, you need to make sure that patient stays with a wide open mouth so that the tooth remains dry during the whole process. And that's the reason we use rubber dam and rubber dam is so important for a composite restoration. Good news is that once this step has been finally completed, moisture control is no longer vital. So you should be able to give patient a chance to relax the jaws for a moment before proceeding with the finishing of the procedure. With a composite filling, you can regain the structural integrity of your teeth. Make sure that the preparation is clean and the bonding stages are adequate. That way your composite filling will adhere to the tooth. And this type of dental restoration can match the shade of a natural teeth. And that is why this kind of restoration is more appealing to the people and patients. Because of this, the tooth appearance and the functions come back without anyone else knowing it. So the tip for a good composite restoration is that the tooth surface must be cleaned before you start the restoration. Preparing the tooth starts by polishing the tooth surface. Remove any stains if there or plaque or calculus or debris. Clean as many sticky fragments as possible before you start with a composite restoration so that it adheres to the tooth. Even though the placement of tooth bonding has been completed, it's still very important for you to check the patient's bite. You need to evaluate how their patient's teeth come together or whether or not the restoration that have just placed interfere with this motion. So to do this, you need to place an articulating paper or you can also take a thin strip of carbon paper between the patient's teeth. 
and ask the patient to close gently and then make a motion where they slide their teeth against each other so the paper will create marks on those points where the patient's opposing teeth touches if marks is observed on the new restoration then adjust the bonding thickness until further testing demonstrate that it has a proper form last step in composite filling is polishing the composite filling restoration So guys this is about composite restoration if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also comment in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel